As soon as science has emerged from its initial stages, theoretical advances are no longer achieved merely by a process of arrangement. Guided by empirical data, the investigator rather develops a system of thought which, in general, is built up logically from a small number of fundamental assumptions, the so-called axioms. We call such a system of thought a theory. The theory finds the justification for its existence in the fact that it correlates a large number of single observations, and it is just here that the truth of the theory lies. Assumptions are made and most assumptions are wrong. We can invent as many theories we like, and any one of them can be made to fit the facts. But that theory is always preferred which makes the fewest number of assumptions. For anyone who is pervaded with the sense of causal law and all that happens, who accepts in real earnest the assumption of causality. The idea of a being who interferes with the sequence of events in the world is absolutely impossible. Neither the religion of fear nor the social moral religion can have any hold on him.